Yo, what up guys? So in today's video, what we want to do is show you how to brute force a website login page using Burp Suite. Now, this is very, very easy to do. So I need to make a very, very big disclaimer that I do not want you to go around and hack random websites. I teach for ethical purpose only. I teach for you to basically learn something and either to take a lesson from this, for example, that you need to really, really care about your digital security or for cyber cyber security purposes only. So if you want to learn cyber security, I'm teaching you for you to learn cyber security or maybe you want to become a pen tester, right? Anything that's related to you and ethical purposes only. So in today's video, as I said, we're going to be using Burp Suite. I'll be sure you could use Hydra. You could just, you, you could just definitely 500 other tools that you could use, but I'm going to show you how to use Burp Suite because first of all, it's already installed on Kali. And second of all, it's, you could just, as I said, Hydra is also installed, but I'm going to show you how to use Burp Suite because why not, right? I've not showed you any content about Burp Suite. So we can either press Windows key or your whatever key to launch this window which is the tab window, whatever it's called. Uh, so we can use Burp Suite or we can do is use the command. Now it should not take long, right? So as you get, as you can, as you can see, get a window. Let me just make this bigger for you a bit, okay? So what we just need to click next, next. Now, because we're using a community edition, it's free. So you cannot do certain functions. However, we don't need to know that because we are going to be brute forcing, which is in community edition because I have a community edition. So definitely you should have a community edition. Make sure your Kali is up to date or at least your Bob Suite is up to date because your settings might be different and you might have problems. Okay. So uh, you don't need to know any of this. What we're going to go on is go to proxy. What we're going to do is open browser. Now you might, I might ask you for a password, which is absolutely okay. Just press cancel, cancel. It happens to me for some reason. I don't know why, but whenever I even I put my correct password, it doesn't go through. So now we need to get a target. So either, either we need a website or we need an IP address. I'm hacking into a virtual machine into a local host website. So what we're going to do is use a local IP address. Let me just go straight to the website. Right now, because this might take a second, I'm just going to go back to you once I get to the login page. Right, so we go on to the login page. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to split my windows into two because it'll be easier for me to work. So I'm just going to split it like this and let me get Burp Suite. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do now is basically get a request for us to work with, right? So what we need to do now is intercept. We'll go proxy that intercept and intercept is off. Click on it, I'll turn blue, and what happens is now, in a second, uh, basically what happens is, because you're intercepting, nothing's going to go through. So you might send a request like this, and the website won't log in. It will never log in, right? So, because this is the purpose of this button. So what happens is, we need to basically leave intercept. Don't turn it off, because if you turn it off, you will lose this page, right? Uh, sorry, you lose this page and you're gonna have to do it again. So just leave it and just follow me what I'm doing. So as you can see, we got a request. You can change it, I don't suggest. Uh, leave it like this. And you were only interested in this because this is the login page. You need to find the login page that whatever you had. So we need to do the same thing for us. Sorry, for, we need to do the same thing for you. Just find the request, right? So we need to change the login. Now login, you can get basically off the website, any administrator or anybody. It doesn't matter how you get the email, as long as you have the email, or even if you don't have the email, you can still find it. Like you can brute force it, but it will, it will take lots of time and plus it's not worth it. So what I suggest doing is finding an email or a login for you to use, okay? So I have the login, which is admin. It was on the website, so I'm using admin now. What we need to do is just highlight it, highlight the password because PWD, as you can see, this is the password I put in. Plus also it says PWD. What we need to do now is just click, right click, highlight it first, right click, send to intruder. And now we're in the juicy stuff. So now as you can see, this is the request and it turned green. It got $1 sign, $1 sign. And it gives us sort of, the, this is the build up of the payload, right? So now what we need to do is go to payloads. And now we need to put some passwords, 
right? So either we can use a word list. I won't be using a word list because I don't want to be here till today. So what we're gonna doing is I'm gonna put some dummy passwords and I'm show you that it works. So give me a second. Right, so I spammed a bit the 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 burp suite payload. So now what we can do is what we're gonna do is basically start attack. Now you can change some of the payload and simple list, you can change whatever you want. I'm not gonna change anything. As you can see, there's a username generator, there's legal unicode. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but I'm gonna be, as I said, we're doing brute force today, so what we're gonna do is this, it's just gonna start attack. And just press okay. And as you can see, it says, it gives us the result of our juices. So, it says finished at the bottom, as you can see, you should see it, yeah, you can see it. So it says finished, and as you can see, we have requests. So this is 24 requests altogether, 25 technically. Um, as you can see, it says payload, it gives us the password, it gives us the stat status code, which is the most important. Let's sort it. You should always sort it so you know always what the password is. Now, it says error timeout, and it says length. Now, as you can see, Obviously, you can have only one password to an account, right? That's obviously the, the basics. So you can only have one password to the account. But all of these passwords are basically the same. As you can see, the status codes are all the same, which means 302 is different, right? And the length is also different. So this could mean that this is the possible password. So what we need to do now is go to the browser. browser. First of all, what we need to do is go to proxy, intercept off, because otherwise you will not be able to log in and just use the password and the details you have gotten from the Kraken. And it might take you a second. For me, it takes a second because I don't have enough RAM, unfortunately, in the computer. And I just found out yesterday that my computer only supports two RAMs and I'm not able to upgrade, which is a big, big problem. I want you to upgrade and I don't want to spend more money to, you know, to buy more RAM because it's more expensive because then I'll have to buy 16 to, to 16 RAMs. But I don't want to do that. I just want you to buy 16 gigs then that would mean I would have to take 32 altogether. But, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, so as, as you can see, we're logged in now and that's us logged in as administrator. And now we can do whatever you want to do. And that you cracked. And this is also the importance, right? This is the importance of having a long, long password as complex as possible and also having two-step verification. Right, so hope you enjoyed this content. It's just a very, very quick video. You should check out my card link, Make, check out my Twitter. And also don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, ask me on Twitter if you have any questions. And overall, see you later and check out my other videos, which I'll be posting soon or tomorrow whenever I have time. See you later, guys.